Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well today and I hope you guys had a very, very nice, enjoyable July 4th Independence Day if you guys are in the United States. Uh, in today's video, I would like to answer a very, very quick question uh, from a user, Daniel Tang Yi Hao. And here is his question. Uh, as a programmer, either working as a full-time employment contractor or freelancer, how do you learn the skill you need to use uh, inside of your next projects? Do you get formal education or you just learn what can be searched from the web? Uh, if you are using formal learning style to learn a new skill knowledge, how do you do it? Uh, enroll in a part-time course in college? Hmm. If you are using informal learning style, what do you use? Things like Udemy or Udacity. So very good question. And let me kind of give you the answer right now. Okay, so basically, everything that I've needed at a contracting job or a full-time job are kind of the things that I've been able to pick up straight from the internet or kind of learn from a colleague at a previous company, right? And I still remember the days when I first started programming and I kind of built my first game uh, using Flash and ActionScript, and I still remember how difficult it was in the beginning. Um, but as soon as you figure out how to kind of search for the answers to the problems that you are facing, the easier it gets. And in addition to that, you'll kind of need to learn how to read code uh, for the answers that you find on either Stack Overflow or the various blog posts that you kind of Google for. And so because almost 99% of the answers that you'll find on the web is written in just plain old code. This is kind of why I strongly encourage, you know, all of my students out there to just get used to thinking about everything in just plain simple code. I find that the sooner you kind of get over this, this hump, uh, the quicker you'll see yourself kind of accelerating at becoming a decent programmer. Now, the next question I want to answer here is, are Udemy courses and Udacity courses, are they actually really helpful for the type of work that you face in the real world? And for the most part, I think Udemy courses, Udacity courses, uh, they are kind of a collection of basic material uh, meant for beginners that have never touched programming before, right? And the reason for this is because a lot of the instructors on these uh, massive online course platforms, they're kind of incentivized to reach the largest audience possible. And this is obviously because uh, they need to get paid for the courses that they create, right? And therefore, most of, uh, most of what you see on these platforms is what I kind of would consider uh, pretty watered down in terms of the course content. I mean, these courses, they're good for uh, people that are trying to explore the basics of iOS programming, such as learning about what a UI table view controller is or uh, what are UI buttons, right? However, when you're on a real job, you're dealing with much more complicated and sophisticated problems. Uh, for example, uh, you're probably going to deal with synchronizing user data between multiple devices, such as an iPhone, a iPad, an Apple Watch, and the Apple TV, and trying to get all of these devices to work uh, together perfectly at the same time. And then another interesting problem that you'll face perhaps at an e-commerce company is you need to deal with payment processing from credit card forms and also using the latest technologies such as Apple Pay. And another set of interesting problems that you'll face at a real job is that sometimes you'll have to test various you know, different user experience workflows to find out which one is the optimal user experience for a certain type of user. Now this whole process is called A-B testing and I myself, I personally find it very interesting when you kind of see the results of the data. But the key here is that you need to collect data that you can rely on, which isn't always so easy. So finally, I want to answer this question about whether or not formal education is all that helpful and whether or not I've used it in my professional career. So this is something that I've ranted on before. And in fact, I graduated from a pretty decent university in California. But has it really been that helpful to me professionally? So aside from two of the first courses that I've taken uh, from the computer science program at UC Berkeley, I can confidently say that I probably didn't need the other 30 classes that I took uh, at university. The most important thing that I kind of learned from or learned at college was how to perform recursion on complicated trees and streams of data 
And this was actually important because it helped me land my first software engineering job at a big software company. The other important thing that I learned at college was how to look at pages and pages of code uh, from a compiler. And this actually taught me how to understand how a huge program works and how the code that we typed in was actually interpreted by the computer. And so learning how to look at pages and pages of code and understanding it is super important because the first job that you'll get as a programmer usually involves looking at an entire code base of code and figuring out which pieces of the app corresponds to which classes. And again, once you get super comfortable at looking at just code all day, it becomes very, very easy to kind of learn the proper ways of application development. And so in conclusion, everything that I've needed to know for a particular job or a particular project is something that I've been able to Google search for, and also being able to read Apple's documentation for how UIKit works, AV Foundation, and animation code is going to help you uh, immensely as well. So uh, make sure you learn how to read Apple's documentation. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel if you learned something new today. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.